to be around here somewhere. Um, where is he? Oh, hello. What can I get you? Hi. Uh, just a, just a small coffee would be great. One small coffee? That's all? Yeah, yeah, that should, uh, that should do it for me. Thanks. Alrighty, dear. Just take a seat and I'll get it right to you. I don't like this place. It scares me. It's just too nice. Hmm. You know, I almost forgot how soothing this place is. <laughs> so what were we talking about? Ah, that's right. I'm not saying that you're right. I'm just saying that you're wrong. I think your idea that the heart and soul are equally mixed is completely untrue. For example, let's say I pour my heart into someone. Now I know that the saying is, give your heart and soul to someone, but that doesn't make any sense. Giving your heart to someone truly emphasizes the fact that the heart bears our deep emotional thresholds. Giving my heart to someone makes sense because your heart, until truly loved, is just an empty muscle just doing its job, pushing us to where we have to go. Utterly boring. But once it finds love, your heart gains that, that oomph it needs to finally move you in the right direction. Wait a second. Well, let me finish. Now your soul is your inner essence. What keeps you on your path? The thing that glows inside of you. Your acceptance into heaven and whatnot. Without your soul, no entry. And definitely no re-entry. <laughs> so basically what it boils down to is, is that why would you willingly give your heart and soul to someone knowing wholeheartedly that you are giving yourself away and that quite possibly you lose all bearing on on well everything are you serious you've got to be kidding me well look at that couple over there they're older they've probably been married a hundred years and look how bright and happy and young she looks and look at him you see some something, something missing Seems like all his life has been sucked away, and she's just, she's just, it's just adding to her longevity and youth. She's sucking him dry, and he doesn't even know it. Once you bear your heart and soul to somebody, they begin to suck the life from you just to stay young? Exactly. I'm not going to become a zombie just because I want sex and meals for the rest of my life. So you don't want sex whenever meals cooked for you, house cleaned, dishes washed, feet massaged, back scratched, all that stuff that comes with being in love? Hell no! Not if I have to become a zombie and watch as my life is sucked away. Wait, then why do we get married? Well, because you're the only one who let me ramble on about my zombie love theory. <laughs> Whatever, I will see you at home. I need a drink.